Hi guys, so today I'm doing the Miss Girl tag because I think it's quite an interesting tag. I've been tagged by First Lady Peacock, so thank you for tagging me. So let's start right now with the question. So first question is, what are you mixed with? So I'm half French and the other half is mostly Haitian blood but also Native American blood. Uh, second question is, what ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? Many, many, many nationalities. Uh, Brazilian, Arab, Hispanic. Um, Filipino, when I have straightened hair, obviously. Um, uh, also, really often from West, Indi uh, West Indies like uh, Guadalupe, Martinique, Madagascar, many, many countries, really. Third question Is your hair curly or straight? Well, I think the answer is quite obvious. My hair is quite curly. Fourth question is Was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Not really, mostly because I'm living in Paris and in Paris there are so many, many nationalities and colors. Uh, I think that actually in Paris the minority are French people, like 100% uh, French people are the minority, I think, because there are so many other colors, other nationalities. Even when you see a white person in Paris, it mi he might not be French, he might be Portuguese, Italian, you know. Because if I grew up in some other parts of France, it might have been more challenging. Question 5. Which background do you embrace the most? I, think I definitely embrace more my French uh, background. And I may get a lot of bad comments from me saying that because I get bad comments mostly on my mixed race issue video. I get a lot of comments saying, oh, you're so ashamed to be black. You wish you had, you were not black. Uh, you wish you were only white, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but no. I'm, I know, I'm totally aware that I'm off black, basically, and I'm happy with it, it's not a problem at all, I'm not ashamed of it, I'm proud of it, uh, but I'm just saying that I embrace the French culture more, you know, my white culture more, basically because I grew up in France, you know, I'm, I grew up in French, I speak French, French, my culture is French, you know, everything is French, so of course I embrace the French culture more, so please understand this and don't comment like, oh, you're so denying your black power, blah, blah, blah. No. Next question. <laughs> um, question six, have you ever been teased for being different? Mm, actually, it might be surprising to you, but if I've been teased in my life about being different, it would be more about being white than being black. Because, for instance, um, when I was in middle school, like from age 11 to 15, um, I was in a school which was really... Well, the people, the pupils, the pupils, students, <laughs> easier to say, uh, were mostly black, Arab, you know. There was really not many uh, white people, French people, uh, I would say 95% of the students were Arab, black, you know. So actually I've been teased for being white, you know. <laughs> like me and my friend who was white also, uh, they called us visage pal, which means white face, like pale face. You know, like in the Native American slang, there is red skin and pale skin. Well, that's funny because I'm actually Native American, but they will call me pale face. Uh, yeah, because we were basically very light-skinned compared to most people, and because we had good grades, so they were teasing us about this. It was nothing mean, you know, they were not like, oh, pale face, you know, it was just something, you know, like kids do, nothing really bad. But other than that, no, I, I don't feel, I don't think and I don't feel that I've been teased in my life about being mixed, black, white, whatever. Question 7. Have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? Not at all. On the opposite, I'm rather really proud to be multiracial. I think it's a strength more than anything else. And I wouldn't change it for anything. Question 8. Do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? Um, not really. Well, actually, yeah, there might be benefits. Like, for instance, uh, if one of your parents teaches you one language and the other parent teaches you teaches you another language that's definitely a benefit but that's not something I I had that's not something I benefited from um, I didn't learn English from any of my parents or whatever I learned it by myself so in my case I don't think I had any specific benefits by of being biracial well anyway I don't I cannot think, think of any right now um, so yeah I think there is 
pros and cons, you know, like any nationality, any race. But yeah, I cannot really think except the language stuff and, you know, having two cultures. But once again, having two cultures can be a good thing and a bad thing. I think it's only the language thing which is which can only be a plus. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Question 9. What makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? I think that the beauty of being multiracial is mostly that it means that there is less and less racism in the world. Um, because obviously if you have a multiracial baby, it means you're not racist or else you are weird. I think like if everybody was multiracial, where was, anyway, multiracial, um, there will probably not be racism anymore because everybody will be mixed. Well, I don't know. But yeah, I think that's what makes being multiracial beautiful. Question 10. Any advice to some who struggle with their multiracial identity? Um, screw them. <laughs> like, why do you even care about some rude and ignorant people's opinions? I mean, I couldn't care less about a racist person's opinion. They can look at me with hate in their eyes, with uh, despite in their eyes. I don't care. I really, really don't care. I mean, what? Like, really? Because they think that I am beneath them, but I think the same of them for being so stupid and being racist, you know? So if you struggle with racist people, just laugh at them, say, you are so stupid, like, you are so back, uh, how can you say that, like, you, you live in the past, you know, like, it's 2012, hello, you know, it's, there is no place for racism anymore. I feel like sometimes racist people are blaming uh, other nationalities for their own problems, so, yeah, I actually feel sorry for racist people because it's sad. Okay, so that's it for this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you will do it. I tag everyone, every mixed person out there to do this tag because I think it's quite a smart, smart questions tag, you know. Um, and I think it will definitely be, definitely be interesting to see what other mixed people like to answer to the same questions. Anyways, I will be really interested myself to see it. So yeah, until then, bye bye. And please, no bad comments. I'm tired of them. No race issue comments, please. Okay, bye.